Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be dealing with another weapon system, one of my favourites. We call this one the missile system. So first of all we're going to work out what we need to craft it. So open up the standard block, standard factory and go in here. We're going to click on missile. So MIS, click the drop down. So the missile computer is going to be the costly one. We'll look at the recipe, 500 threns, 1000 crystal composites. Okay. Uh, the ID is 38, and the uh, actual tubes, the rocket, the missile tubes, they are, uh, let's see, they are 32. So I'm going to change production over to those now. Missile tubes, and we'll go to production recipe. You'll need 50 threns and 100 crystal composites to create these. Um, so that's how you do that in the standard factory. So we're just going to get up and uh, make ourselves a little thing. I'm going to hit X as last time. Jump in the core. We've got our symmetry mode already on. So obviously I'm going to need a power block <laughs> and a thruster, as you guys pointed out last time. So if I put in this the weapons, the missile computer, we're going to whack one of those on top here. And then I'm going to put in, like last time, one, two missiles. All right. Um, in fact, we'll go with three, and then we'll go and hit T, and drag this into the hotbar, just like last time. So now we've got our missile computer on hot point one. Now I'm going to go and try it out. Boom! Oh my god, I'm smashing up my own station here, guys. Look at that AOE damage. So yeah, important point to note, as you can see here, we've got the shrapnel effects, which is standard. We've got the damage overlays. And also the uh, damage is like by area and it doesn't care what entity. So even though I shot this one, it still damaged my station even though it was close. But it's no big deal, we can fix her up. So um, obviously we're going to do another one. So firing again. <laughs> Completely destroying my station in the process, but it is beautiful as you can see here. Loving the uh, debris effects. You can actually collide with these. They are kind of semi there. Uh, it's all client side simulation, so other people don't see your debris. Um, but certainly a lot of fun. So these will disappear after a while, and you can turn them down in the settings. But really awesome. So, anyway, as you can see, two missiles. Well, one made a hole, and the second one punched all the way through and pretty much wrecked everything around it. You can see there the pattern for an idea of the. Uh, sort of distribution of the explosion there. It's very clever. It does math. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the... Uh, we're not going to do missile missile because that's a heat-seeking swarm of 10 missiles which will kill everything here including my station and probably that ship over there as it has no shields. So I'm going to show you the missile cannon instead. So by putting the cannon computer on I'm going to have to hit C on the master computer and then V on the slave computer. That links them together. So now I just need to match the block count, as you remember from the air cannon computer video, which is linked right now. If I push C on the cannon and then put in the uh, blocks as we did last time, just exactly the same, three and three. All right, let's see what we get when we fire it now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sort of bump this thing a little bit out of the way of the station. Okay, there we go. Right. I'm going to wait for it to turn around. I'm going to give it a slug. That's one. Let's see if we can pop a shot inside that hole as it's rotating. Match it, match it. Oh, it went in. So, yeah. So as you can see, it's ready to fire faster than before. If I just hold it down... That's my fire rate right now. But we want it to be stronger than all that because we've lost power now. So what we're going to do is we're going to tweak it. Obviously, we'll do the same as in the air cannon computer tutorial. We're going to add a couple more missile tubes. So say one, two, three. Run out. Let's add two more then. <laughs> and then hit the slave. We will be covering effects in later videos, guys. So don't worry. It's just a case of linking another system and matching the ratios again. So as you can see here, we've got a one-to-one -one ratio. 
Okay, so let's go and find that other target, because this one's looking pretty smashed up. Oh, let's kill the uh, ship from the last tutorial. There it is. Boom! Wait, what happened? Nothing happened. Hang on a minute. What's going on? There we go. Bugs in the matrix, peeps. So that's been destroyed now. Okay, so let's just push this one a little bit out into space. So as you can see, we've now got a faster firing um, missile launcher. So if I just go ahead and hold the missile down, hold it down. Okay, and it's just going to slug away, create loads of awesome debris. Oh, power failure. Important thing to note about your missiles is they will dump all your power into those missiles. The power is turned into the projectile in this game. And so if you don't watch it, you'll end up with no power pretty quickly. So as you can see, we're chasing our target through space right now. Slugging it with really weak missiles. <laughs> and I've run out of power again. So, heading back over here. That's everything I've got to say about that, really, guys. Uh, like I say, we will cover other weapons combos in future tutorials, but that's your basics uh, on missiles for dumbfire. Um, like I say, we will do future guides. If you guys want me to prioritize them, then request them, and I'll push them up the queue. Um, other than that, thanks for watching, and please hit like if you enjoyed or if this video helped you out. And onwards to the more complex stuff, which is going to be fun, because it's easy, really. So, thanks again, and I'll see you next time.